Hey up everybody. Today then while my paint works hard enough on my cab, which I sprayed the other day, I thought I'd move on to making the handrails to fit on the cab. And I've got my recycling head on today. Uh, a while back, I, well a long while back, I picked up these D-links from a car boot or a flea market. They're like miniature D-links. And uh, what I'm going to do, I thought, when you take the, the bolt out of the D-link, I thought it had a nice shape on the end for a bracket for a handrail. So I'm going to use four of these. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn turn the shaft down to either 3BA or 4mm thread so that it comes through my cab with a nut on the back and then sticks out and then what I'm going to put in it for the handrail is a, a chap from our local model engineering place a while back I think it was Peter he brought a load of these brass components in I don't know what they were off and he said, if anybody wants a few, take a few. So I've took a few of them. Uh, they've got some three. They've got three pre-drilled holes in there, so uh, I'll have to use that as a feature. And I'm going to chop the thread off. Turn each end down to one eighth to fit in this D-link bolt, so that it slots into the bolt. And put one on one on the top, one on the bottom straight through the cab with a nut on each end and that should make me my me, me handrails I think and that's what it'll look like from a plan view I thought it had got a nice shape on that on that D-link bolt they, they're galvanised so they won't rust uh, I can polish them up with some brasso and they'll, they'll, they'll come up shiny but they'll still be galvanised polish the brass up and Bob's your uncle so uh, I think I'll move over to Myford now and uh, make a start of these. Over at Myford now. So what I'm going to do then, I'm going to grip these in my three jaw chuck <clears throat> and I'm going to do a batch of 12 for, for all my handrails on the loco. I'm going to turn the diameter down to 0 0.160 for M4 or 3BA. Part them off at 5.30 seconds long, put a thread on manually, by hand. Moving on to the handrails now, uh, what I've got to do here then I've got to just part that thread off or cut that thread off, uh, turn each end down to one eighth diameter and in between the shoulders of where I'm turning I want it to be 73mm to fit in between the handrail fixing points.
Okay, then that's another part of Jigsaw completed. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do on my next part, but I'll catch you on my next video then. So I'm going to sign off for now. And if you've not seen my other videos on making this loco from scratch, take a look at them. And if not, I'll catch you on my next video. Thanks for watching then. Bye for now.